Another common problem in landscape drawing is what I call the empty ground problem. A lot of times you'll see a landscape begin something like this, where you sort of plot out trees or landmarks somewhere on the page, and there's nothing connecting them at all, and they just sort of seem to be floating there. And the basic idea is you just fill the empty ground with something. And in uh, a different video, we talked about extending the roots. That's one solution. You can also use cross contour lines and you can also use shadows. Um, and when you start to extend the roots and when you have multiple trees and bushes to use, that allows you to continue the root structures into other trees and overlap them and kind of create a network that goes over the ground as a whole. And that can create a bunch of uh, sophisticated patterns and ways for you to connect and to divide up the space. Um, essentially, what you're doing is expanding the range of your compositional tools um, so that you can create a more interesting landscape than you could just by plotting out these sort of different points on the ground. So when you start to do cross contour lines, you're taking those those extended roots out and you're describing how the ground undulates and you're getting across a little bit more information than you would without them. So you're able to not only describe how those roots go across the ground and under the ground, you're um, able to describe how much they push up and down. And then when you get into shadows, you can start to really get some emphasis going because you can relate those shadows to the roots and to the cross contours, and you can bring shadows that are actually coming in from trees that are off of the format, and you can bring those shadows onto, onto it so that there's another um, presence beyond the edge of the page. And that allows you to create a lot of immediate depth and overlap within your drawings um, and it allows you to create um, a little bit more space than you had at the beginning. So from the beginning of the end of this video, you see two completely different landscape approaches. So the trick is just not to stop with the empty ground, it's to fill it. <laughs> 